uh, hi namaskaram uh, amazing you know i think uh, the common thread which i was just sitting back and just absorbing everything and i'm so glad in the last speaker so i can take a little more time <laughs> but fascinating this common thread of uh, love between everybody you know all the speakers here love what they do so much you are here because you love something called life amazing but unfortunately i started uh, this fantastic journey of dance by fighting not by loving you know i think as a little boy i was very boisterous like all boys fighting for a bat beating my brother throwing things on him you fight yeah then you fight for attention when you get little older little older then you go to college you want attention but from different people in college yeah you uh, and that then after that you fight when you graduate again you want attention you want to be the best worker in uh, your office so you know all that you keep fighting and fighting and fighting for everything then when you come to a stage where you want to pursue when you know you love dance and that's what you want to do everybody i come from middle class a lower middle class chinese nepalese uh, northeast indian family who thinks they're brahmins who thinks they're iyer brahmin who think ayo <laughs> beef don't eat ayo ayo yo they swear my mother beef no 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 beef in this house you good you gave up meat good anyway so like that uh, so the mentality also is like that you know my parents are uh, lovely parents now i mean oh, they evolved <laughs> sorry ma <laughs> lovely no lovely human beings actually but you know i think they're looking out for the interest of their son so what you going to do dancing first of all dance is for a girl bharatanatyam chi chi you'll become yunak they said okay all that put together then they said on real terms she sat me down she said don't dance you're going to make uh, like in tamil uh, what kutti chor for the rest of your life you will not yeah you will not make money nobody look at you you lose your friends don't dance go work in office 9 to 5 and uh, start investing in a house put your papers together do all that and do all that and then dance on saturday sunday <laughs> and then you have energy after that to dance on saturday sunday damn good after working advertising office as copywriter from 9 o'clock till 1 in the night and anyway, and dance but i managed all that and uh, it was just a crazy crazy uh, thing to do but you know what i think with all this fighting something started fighting you know and you won't believe what the heart started fighting the head and the head started fighting the heart i think when that happens you know that like you get an inner wisdom that is beyond yours and for me i think at 28 there's a certain wisdom that allows me even if i look at a friend doing fantastically well and you know well off and mudrisi card and beautiful girlfriend whatever I'm like, ah. i'm like okay fine but i'm happy that inner wisdom comes from that you know and i think uh, yeah of of fighting with when your head fights with your heart it opens your eyes and you don't just see you actually begin to see and somebody told me very profoundly it's a very cliche thing that idiot if you get up in the morning and you love to do what you do you say i'm going to work you're the luckiest man on the planet and i feel like that and i feel about i feel that with so many people here because we love to do what we do it may not be a full time thing like me because it's a sort of a struggle but uh, i think i'm very lucky to be here uh classical dance has changed my world amazing initially it was only movement teacher would put that tai 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 you like one machine then somebody said this boy dance like a robot uh yeah chinese no karate no something bharatnatyam looks like karate amma amma correct correct like that only so karate karate pandra ave venda venda and the purnima student amma 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 karate sorry so after that yeah yeah then on the small journey uh, from that karate it got a little better ah ma okay sumara adra nalla paya i will say one thing very nice very nice thing i somebody said to me and then 26 after 10 years of dancing bang something happened one day i just got ready for normal program kacheri program and i danced and i felt something out of this world i don't know i could feel somebody who's i come from a mixed family my grandma's a nepalese hindu my grand my dad's uh, my mom's a christian and we're all converted to get conveniently get seats in a good christian school conveniently and that's why we became christian you know you got a seat no never applied twice you got in joseph's christ very good okay so all that but you know i think beyond that it's about looking at um, i feel god i know it sounds crazy yet. but you know and god is not i look at him as lord shiva because he's my grandma's deity oh you know how silly that sounds but uh, it's he's beyond everything and you know and you feel that presence and then you get into mythology tell fascinating stories of of gods of kings of journeys and you get lost i look open the ramayana the whole night it's by me reading it because uh, of the allegories and the metaphors and not just as that and then 
at this point in my life, in fact, yes, something very interesting happened here today. I got my iPod, I love my iPod, love my iPod, and I lost it today, here. So anybody found it, please return it to me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no, 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 because I think, you know, what happens when I love something too much, I always lose it, or it tears, my favorite kurta tears, or favorite pet will die, or I lose that. Finished? I realized that this metaphor of, I'd like to close with this, that Indian mythology or religion is not about it, it's about looking beyond it and looking into it, so it makes us all happy as a community and as people. Losing this iPod today, favorite iPod, favorite Carnatic music, Lord Shiva stands like this, bold. It means face the world boldly, face it. But along with that boldness, somebody sits here, is a serpent, emerald serpent, and a sne and serpent is poisonous. It reminds you of the fickleness of time, like uh, a speaker had said, I'm here, I go out, I may be hit by a bus. The snake reminds you of time. The dhamru beats fast and beats slowly. Time beats for you. And at any moment, the snake might bite you. You may not be anymore here. But enjoy and cherish each moment. And Bharatanandim did that to me. We celebrate like Navarasas. We celebrate every emotion. I've dealt with racism. Small eyes. Bharatanandim not say, no, no, no. No. How will you Bharatanandim such small eyes? Anyway. Yeah. How will you Bharatanandim? Small eyes you have. And there. Uh, yeah, small eyes, how you do Bharatanatyam? No, no, you're making a, you're cracking a joke. And my friends say, <laughs> Bharatanatyam, this one's running Bharatanatyam. Anyway, so that is it. Every, I dealt with racism, frustration, the body gives up, the mind gives up, parents, I'm fighting, still fighting my demons. Yeah, fighting a lot of things, fighting my insecurities still. Yeah, I'm still fighting it. I'm alone at home, I'm alone at home, I'm fighting them. Bharatanatyam has taught me that life is a celebration of good, of bad, of frustration, of everything put together, and human life is about that. I present you a piece by choreographer my guru, uh, Srimadhi Priyadarshini Govind, celebrates Lord Shiva, brilliant, uh, as uh, visually as an art form, but for me, he goes beyond that, and I hope I take you on that journey just now.
Anda, pa. 